All right, so you tried this one. You should have gotten A is 150 newtons, and that's the one where it's just hanging on the bottom, one string, one mass. So that's like what we've done before. So you should get 150 newtons for tension A. For B and C, you should get the same value because they do have the same angle here. So we should get 128.2 newtons for both of those. So if you didn't get that, here's some kind of hints to go through it. So here's my free body diagram. Again, I moved my 60 degree angle from up here down to here because I like my angle next to my free body diagram. If you left it up there, it will work just fine. So then I needed to resolve these two into components because they were at angles. The 72 and the 150, they were good where they were. Resolve them into the components. This helps me see what's in the x direction, what's in the y direction. Generate my equations. So I add up my x's to get zero because it's not accelerating. I see cosine of 60 cancels out of both of those and I'm left with B is equal to C. Now I can use that to substitute into my Y direction. So I had the ups and the downs are minus. And so here I can say, instead of writing C, I can write B because they are this equivalent. And so now I only have one unknown in here. So I have B sine 60 equals 72 plus 150. So I have B sine 60, oops, missed a zero there. B sine 60 plus B sine 60 gives me, you guessed it, 2B sine 60 equals 222. Do a little bit of algebra here. So two times the sine of 60, type that in your calculator, divide it over the other side, and you end up with that B is equal to that 128.2 Newton number. And if you know B, you automatically know C.